Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Dead Linger. And uh, what we started doing oops, is gathering up some materials here. I've got, check it out, my plywood sheets have duplicated. <laughs> that's kind of cheating. I feel like that's cheating in a way to make materials and stuff is, uh, I mean, you know, cool, that's less gathering for me to have to do. But let me tell you what's kind of scary about that is I don't know if uh, duplicated material ever becomes bugged. You know, like you can no longer interact with it. Uh, I don't think my 2x4 is duplicated. 1, 2, yeah, I still got 6. Let's see. Yeah, I got a baby cabbage that grew. Uh, well, anyway, so here's here's what I'm doing. And this is where I get kind of scared about the barricading. Is after I record the R20 some odd minute segment and you know stop for the day what I'm doing is I'm turning the game off and then reloading it and I'm hoping that's gonna cut down on some of the uh, the problems I have with the game starting to stutter and things like that but the problem is and that's the scary thought is you see my barricading stuff shifts I mean and we know that like I know Eddie Eddie your barricade is gonna shift that fancy bridge that you make is not going to stand the test of time. You're going to build a bridge and several days later you're going to come back and guess what's going to happen, Eddie? Your bridge is going to be falling from the sky all jacked up. Is this too before? Those are the ones I can pick up. I just can't put in my backpack. Um, so that's a scary, scary prospect. I'm going to do all this work, but I'm willing to try. And I'll tell you why I'm willing to try is if barricading is fixed to any sort of degree in the next build then this will give me an idea if this would be a cool thing to do or not you know build a well the bridges so in my mind I think it's gonna be very cool let's gather up some wood and I dropped off my two by fours that way when I do chop down a tree I can actually carry more more wood okay that one's good there's that lone tree up there on the hill. I'm going to go back and hit that tree real quick. And maybe hit that other tree on the other side. Ah, so the long journey begins. Look at all that wood out there, though. Yeah, I'm definitely going to head that direction next time for tree. I heard a zombie moan. What I've done, team, is I've gone ahead and I turned the in-game volume up. And what I did was I turned the in-game volume down on the broadcaster. So my hope is that you can hear the game sounds a little bit better, but they're not overpowering me talk. You know, I know some people could probably do without my commentary, but what I'm hoping is that you know you can hear the game and still hear the commentary. One of these days I might film a commentary list. <laughs> episode or two just so you can kind of watch the game that yep. even the world items are starting to duplicate you know not that I'm upset that things duplicate right now it kind of makes things nice <laughs> especially if it's gonna give me a whole bunch of plywood sheets that I can play with it'll be nice to see too they said they've made the size of these rocks bigger you know not that that really is a game stopper for me but uh, I think I think when I talked about it when they mentioned making those boulders bigger that would definitely be more of a uh, a PvP consideration that we have something to hide behind uh, let's cut a tree down uh oh frame rate there we go uh oh of the world here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go too far. Uh, let's see here. Well, that one actually carried a pretty good amount of, amount of wood in it. Like a tree pinata. I think I could easily 
chop down one more tree. I'm gonna go over this way because what I want to do is peek down and see if there's a. I don't think there's a cabin. I do see a road. I was gonna point out the road to you, but you can't see my finger. But sometimes I've learned, you know, when there's a road going through woods, there's usually a cabin right off the road. Don't ask me what my fascination with the cabins is. Just <laughs> don't worry about it. I like the cabins. All right, we're going to chop you. Oh, hello. Can I get closer? Oh, that guy went down quick, so he probably didn't have much. And I thought I saw a piece of wood fly off of him. And it's gone might have fallen into the world because it's on this steep kind of hillside let me let me grab one that's more at the bottom here that way when I chop it it might not disappear those zombies can hear it they can hear the chopping wood they're coming oh huh these don't drop much at all Last night, I, I found on Netflix, they had the 1990 remake of Night of the Dead that uh, George Romero put together, and the, and the remake was also done by him, and I started to watch it. I didn't get much of it done, but it it definitely, definitely has a pretty good creep factor to it. I mean, it's not gory by today's standards, but uh, it definitely, definitely looked better than the original. I think it looked better than the original black and white one. I know people will debate that, but I watched that and watched like, I think maybe the first 10 minutes of it when she left the uh, cemetery and got into the, I don't know if it was a farmhouse or what, but uh, I was like, yeah, I think I'll enjoy this one a little bit better than the original. And, and to be honest, I haven't even watched the original all the way through. All I've ever seen is like the bits and clips that different television shows that they show when they talk about zombie movies and you know you watch it and it, it's okay I mean it was the first of the genre of that style of zombie movie but after seeing a whole bunch of zombie movies and then watching that 1990 remake I think I think I'll enjoy the remake more and the only reason I bring that up is because the slow moving zombies those are my favorite and that's one reason why I really kind of like the Dead Linger. Um, I've tried playing like some DayZ mods. I mean, I've tried. I haven't tried the standalone, but I've tried a bunch of DayZ mods, whether it was for Arma 3, Arma 2. And I don't know. For some reason, I'm not into the zombies that hop like frogs. And I'm not into zombies that run and chase you for miles and miles. There's just something creepy and kind of classic feeling about the slow moving walkers there's something about that that's super creepy now see look here this duplicated see I had put up one piece of the wood and now down here I've got a whole bunch right, let's put the hand in there. oh hmm uh, let's, let's swap it with Oh boy, even the axe takes up a bunch of spot. Okay, so let's do this. I need... Oh, what I was going to do is I was going to take some of those that duplicated in the world and put them up there to barricade that some more, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to come up to my safe spot, though, and we're going to make some plywood. exciting is this <laughs> I know I've had some comments from folks they want to see you know fast action gaming and running out there uh, 
that's not what I'm here to, to film. You know, this is just, uh, like I said before, I think it was Friday, I was just rambling along. And this is the, uh, this is the journal. And so you get to see the day-by-day -day exploits, the mundane and the not-so-exciting. Now, once I get a bicycle in the game, that might be exciting. I'm going to try and BMX and jump that thing off of stuff. That might be fun. Okay, so let's... I wonder if I can throw this. Oh. <laughs> That's not a very good throw. Alright, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me grab you. Now I should have enough to make another big piece. I didn't throw it. I, I picked it up with the middle mouse wheel, and then I clicked the middle mouse wheel to drop it. What you need to do is left click and throw it. So I'm going to see if I can left click and throw this after I pick it up. Pick it up, middle mouse button, and then. Well, that worked out pretty good. So I have remaining one. Two, I should have five right there. Yeah, that's five. Let me see, how many sheets of plywood do I got? Okay, I've got this one here. Just trying to stack it so it looks nice. Okay, so I one, two, three. Now here's the next thing. I gotta figure out where where to build this extension from over to the silos. Let's come up here and look. I think I, I mean, I can walk around the outside. Man, how do I get up there, though? That might not work the way I want. I wonder if I built... Can I go under? I want to try something. Let me grab a sheet here. Where's my hammer? Did I put my hammer on? Let me swap for just a moment. Let's pick the hammer. Okay, so here's what I'm wondering. That's what I want to do. Problem is, yeah. What I'm gonna do is build a little platform here. Okay, so this one piece of big plywood is not enough to go all the way across. So here's what I'm thinking of doing. So I'm st stuck on everything. Let's pick you all up here for a moment so I can move around here. And rotate, rotate. Uh, see, this is a problem. Is... is looking down enough so that ugh this isn't even gonna let me hammer right here see cause I'm, I'm thinking what I had in mind was to just simply put like a little platform here um Maybe I can't build attachments to the barn. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Well, I know I can build attachments to the silo. Let me see if I can climb up here. I might not be able to do any of what I was hoping to do. Let's see if I can climb carrying this 
plywood sheet. Maybe I'll start by building a bridge from one silo to the next. <sighs> nope. Okay, new plan. <laughs> That's okay. Let me see if I can fit one of these big plywood sheets inside of the silo. Well, I tell you what, this is how we learn stuff. Uh, can I get off of here? There we go. Okay, where's the opening to the silo here? Alright, I can fit that in here. So let's try this. Maybe, maybe my new plan will be putting in these plywood sheets here. All right, let's do that. Oh, hello, Crouch. Huh. Yeah, I was trying to attach because I thought I could build a little platform across the stairway. I might have to build an angled bridge that shoots like... Wow, that's going to be steep. Okay. Put my own barricade. I can't get past my own barricade. All right, let's... I'm just ex I just want to experiment to see what all I can or cannot do here. So let's try to build off of this outside spot. <clears throat> so let's say if I wanted to build up to that. Uh, yeah, I had to build up over the rail, which is cool. So let's let's modify this here and turn it like that uh aha uh -huh. uh -huh. so i might have to build my bridge that way oh here comes the zombies This one. I guess maybe instead of, instead of storing it all down below, I'm gonna start storing it up top so I don't have to run so far. I know I was gonna make more plywood before I started this endeavor, but I was just curiosity got the better of me. just puts an awfully big gap between the sheets here. Oh, hello. Oh, hit the wrong button. I was trying to hit the X button. Rotate it. Let's see here. Think. And then... Put it on top here. Well, that didn't line up very good with the other sheet. Oh, don't tell me. Is this not going to let me nail one to the other? Yeah, that's weird. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh. I wonder if that's a small sheet of plywood I found just laying out in the world. You know what? Yeah, you know what, team? I am starting to think I can't nail two pieces of plywood together. I honestly thought that I could. I was must have been naive in thinking that. Huh. Yeah. I don't think I can build a bridge. Well, shoot. 
I'm a little disappointed in that. Huh. Well, and I can't take my wood up to the outside there. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Let's let's take this wood down in here. I think I'm just going to start stockpiling all my wood outside this uh Ooh, hello. Go inside. Oh no. Come on, get in there. Blah. Oh man. I might have to use small plywood. After I just made all these big pieces of plywood. Oh, Eddie is sad. There we go. My dream of home ownership has completely just been changed here. It's not a very pretty floor. That's for sure. Oop. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Rotate. Now I gotta think about how to get up there. So I have the beginnings of a floor. <laughs> I have the beginnings of a floor. Uh, I gotta work on some stairs now. I saw a zombie coming. Thought. I mean, I'm pretty paranoid about that. Living in the apocalypse and everything. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yep. Uh, weapon. All right, well, let's stop there. I'll come back. I'll start stockpiling my my wood down inside one of these silo bins here. What am I building? It? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can build a ladder. When I come back, those will give me a chance to see how much those shifted. And this, okay, those were plywood. All right, well, the great housing experiment continues, so we'll see what I can do inside this silo. I'm a little disappointed I can't carry the plywood sheets up because what would have been nice is if I could have carried it up then I was going to build my floors from the top down and that way I wouldn't have had to rely so much on a ladder um, but now I'm definitely going to have to build that ladder because what it would do is I could like climb up here for instance and then I could drop and fall but then you know I'd, I'd land on the floor right below me and not take so much damage um, but as it stands, if I was to fall that height, oh, that'd be terrible. So let's come on down here and get ready to go grab some wood. But yeah, this will give me a chance to exit out of the game, come back in, see what's changed. And then from there I can make the decision if I want to keep playing with the, uh, the floors. The answer probably is going to be yes, <laughs> regardless of how messed up it is. Just because I'm a glutton for punishment. Alright everybody, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.